Hi everybody, uh, welcome to my first video. Today I'm actually going to be showing you guys how to do a sky replacement in Photoshop. It's super sweet, super simple. Um, I'm actually going to be taking you guys through my process, so everyone's different, but this is just what I find um, is to be the easiest. If you guys want to follow along with your own photo, I would recommend it just so you guys can kind of um, do it yourselves. And then if you guys do like this video, please share, like, and subscribe. Okay guys, so welcome to the tutorial and let's get straight into it. So as you can see, I already picked this photo right here. Um, I already did some editing on the foreground just to make it pop. And then what we want to do is I, we want to add a nice background so that way we can have that foreground stand out. Um, so we want to pick something that's going to make it look very nice and blended. Um, we don't want anything that's going to look too fake or, you know, not realistic. So let's actually go all the way over here. You're going to go to the left and you're going to click on edit. Then you're going to actually go straight down and you're going to click sky replacement. And then on the right, you should actually see this bar come up and just going to wait for it to load. So as you can see, it already added a sky for me, but I'm going to show you guys right here. If you click this tab, there's so many different options. It's actually pretty nice because Photoshop already gives you a lot of free uh, skies that you could use. Uh, I'm sure you could buy more packages online, but I actually really like the selection. So let's just say you want to pick this one. You just click on that and boom. So yeah, so I don't not a big fan of this one. Let's go up a little more. Let's try this one again. Mm -hmm. So you see it's it's you know, we can blend it out so that way it looks a little bit more realistic, but with something like this, I actually want to pick something that's going to bring this these foreground colors out. So let's try something else. Mm -hmm. Skies. And you can see there's so many different types of skies to match what you're kind of looking for. Oh, um, you know what? I really like this one in this corner here. Just let's see. Yeah, so this one's good. So I like this one because it actually looks more realistic and the colors um, match the foreground. So that's what we're looking for. So we're just going to go ahead and shift the edges um, that way. They can kind of be more refined and blended because we want to make sure that it's not taking away from, you know, any of these objects like his hat or the hair um, or any of these flowers in the background. So I actually really like this. You go, yep, that's perfect. So now we we're going to go to brightness and you can actually brighten up that sky background if you want. I'm actually going to brighten up a little bit and actually turn it to my top. That's perfect. And then you could actually change the temperature. So let's just see how that would look if we did that. Mm. I like it actually more blue. And then if you want to change the foreground adjustments, you can do that too, but I'm actually going to leave mine as it is. So once you um, are finished and you like the finished product, you're going to go ahead and put, press OK. And awesome, this looks good. So I'm actually I actually already did the editing for this photo. I went ahead and did some more camera raw filter um, editing in it, just brought out the colors and refined the edges a little bit more. But I'm actually going to show you guys the finished product. So this was added some more camera raw filter um, editing in it, just brought out the colors and refined the edges a little bit more. But I'm actually going to show you guys the finished product. So this was actually the finished product, which I really was happy with. Um, I really wanted just for the background to match the foreground, and I brought out a lot of those foreground colors. So yeah, this is the finished. Um, so I really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I hope that it brought you some value and you guys took something from it. Um, if you guys want to see more tutorials or just if you guys have any other suggestions please leave a comment down below and if you guys did like this one um, just go ahead and like and subscribe and share 
And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video.